How's it going guys? Doe here. Hope we're doing good. Today I'm going to show you all how to handle the Exalted Earth Realm Gauntlet in two ways. The first way, not very balanced, not very realistic if you're a new player. But the second way is beyond realistic and it's going to be uh, pretty helpful I think for most players. Now, in this current realm, I've got effects of minus 30% damage. I'll take less damage, I assume, or they deal less damage. And they deal 50% more fire damage and 50% more physical damage. So... I'm probably going to get one shot if I get hit. Active boons, 89% weak point damage and 30% damage. So we got some damage on our, on our side as well. And I'm using the same build I used in the last video, in the first portion. And I'll be making a video on this build a bit later on. But let's go ahead and see what happens if I, uh, you know, don't get wrecked. Wrecked, 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 destroyed. Words. And uh, you got four bosses in here. I, I sat later on, but whatever. Almost two shot. Homie's just, you know, vibing out here. I'm just trying to avoid the grab. Yep. I just assume it's going to come out sometime soon, so I just try and not get wrecked by that. Not that deal. And I want to save my cooldowns for uh, Peyton. I want to save my cooldowns for the other bosses because they're a little bit more menacing than this nerd. I'm telling you, you have to avoid, you have to avoid those like wind up attacks that are red, where uh, the the grappling attacks. They will one shot you with the current modifiers these bosses have. All right, I shouldn't have to use much on this nerd. Ow. Why am I trashing this guy? Actually, the real question is, why does he have like the most garbage hit points in the game? Like the weak points are on his right or his his right arm. It's hard to hit, but he got hit pretty hard though. So I ain't too bad. Now, we're going to bust out this number. I couldn't hit it yet. I wasted my attacks. I couldn't hit it. It was unhittable. No. No, he wasn't ready. Hit him with that real quick. All right. It's dead. It just doesn't know it yet. Okay, this is the unrealistic version of the Earth Realm Gauntlet for newer players. But the next one is beyond realistic. It's going to give you a pretty good idea of how this is going to go. Especially if you get really terrible, and I mean freaking terrible effects and boons. You can get rolled. You can get things that just aren't useful at all. But before that, make sure if you like this video to like it, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff helps me out a ton. And if you want, use credit code ODO in the Epic Games Store because that helps me out immensely. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the rest of the video. As for the more balanced take on this fight, I'm using a Valor Plate that does not have any augments in the augment slots. And my gear is mostly stuff that's attainable. The first thing, not so much. This is in the Tower of Trials. Good luck getting it your first time around. But everything else is mostly stuff you get at level 50. Some things are upgraded, but these are green items. Some of these items are green. I upgraded them to Legendary. You can do the exact same thing. Like this ring and the uh, the necklace above it are were both green items. I've got this with Chill. Yo, know, this build scuffed, and the reason why I'm using some things that are really good is because my damage is beyond gimped. And the reason why... Look at my effects and boons, bro! Minus 30% shield resistance. Elements aren't very good in this game. Unless you're doing towers, they're, they're kind of good, but... And in other... in like, fighting bosses, which is what the Earth Gauntlet really is, you're fighting a bunch of bosses, they have insane resistance to these elements. And plus, not having augments makes it even worse. Because augments are what make it, augments have augments give you you know more damage versus monsters that are inflicted by an element or, or chill or what have you. So I'm missing a lot of damage, but this is still not that great. Active boon, 28% chance to inflict more chill poggers, and 46% soul shatter buildup during rampage. I said 40, pretty weird, whatever. But that's what's going on. As far as my skills go, this is what I'm using. This is what I would use. 
Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff here because these fights don't really need much resistance since they are not going to be many spells cast at you. I don't think at least. But yeah, the same old, same old damage. We Make sure you have the elements because if you're in my... Well, make sure you have elements if you're using a build like this. If you get rolled like I did with your effects and boons, then make sure you have elements just so you can inflict it and I don't know, have fun. And to be honest, you probably don't even have to use elements on this in this fight. You can just ignore that entirely and just play what you want to play. But because I want to, you know, see what happens, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. And I would use dual blades instead of longsword, but dual blades are not very fun for me, man. Now, this nerd, you've seen him before. You've seen him a couple times. This is the meat mallet nerd. He's got a lot of uh, very target attacks like that. Rolled. On this attack, you can hit both weak points twice. You can hit weak points like twice in a row like that. Oh, he's getting kind of sauced up, bro. He's getting kind of sauced up, mate. Big point? I don't see it. This jump attack, you can sometimes dash away from it and avoid it, but other times it's kind of hard. No! Oh, that's a very fast wind-up circle. He's got two circles. One's a small radius, the other one's a big radius. Blocking it's not really worth, but... I don't care. It's better just to dodge that whenever you can. That's a pretty cool effect. Hitting weak points. Oh, that grab was gonna be deadly. That was gonna be brutal, bruh. That blue attack, if you don't parry, if you don't parry that, that's the longest windup this side of the Mississippi, homie. Like that thing is there for a century. You're dead. I was gonna say, like, stop pretending. It's not a game. That's what IGN would say. Like, 0 out of 10, this is not a game. <laughs> Alright, we got this freaking absolute mad lad. This dude's rough. I'll tell you, man, longsword just feels different than other weapons. It is built the different. That homie comes in with the damage. I want to try and be full health on this because this dude hurts. That, whenever it winds up for a long time, it's going to do a long whirlwind, but it has two of those attacks that look purple. Okay, three of those attacks that look purple. Once it acts overhead swing like that, the other one is one where it's not going to be so uh, aggressive of a swing. What's up, homie? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hit him with that. Oh, sh... You're cheating! No, what? Yeah, see, look. That's a much quicker whirlwind swing than the, the other one. It could be this on your distance from the mob, but I kind of doubt. Yeah, that's a much longer one, so it goes further than normal. But we still rolling them and smoking them, my doggy. Alright, now it's going to lock the nerd in the right. This dude has the most scuffed weak points I've seen in my entire Godfall career. I haven't used Baron this entire game. Them cracked. That attack? Very hard to hit, by the way. Will you stop? Make me look bad. What's up? What's up? This dude, I want to describe his attack pattern, but it's just weird. It's pretty telegraphed, kind of. It's like a four pattern, I think. Never mind. He has one one attack pattern where he does like a red attack that you can't dodge, and it'll hit you like four times. So just get ready to dodge four times. This is sometimes nah, it's not it. Oh, I'm cracked mildly. What? I have no meter. Monka the W. All right, now he's summoning healers. You want to focus those guys as fast as possible. Hit him with a little razzle-dazzle with your ultimate. No, stop. Do not heal, please. Cancel them. Cancel them, bro. Like, I said, like they said some things you didn't like on the internet. Get rolled. Get away from me. All right. Wait. I got questions. Ah! 
That's the fastest blue attack thing in the world, dude. He's been practicing freaking Smurf Taekwondo or something. What is that? All right, this is taking a lot longer than I expected, but like I said, man, my effects and boons are garbage. Yo, this is just pain. Oh, you're mad. You're so mad. All right, I was going to be mad if you hit me with that. We're vibing. I still have that loot over there. It's fine, though. If you kill this next mob in time, you can gather the loot. You get like 30 seconds. This mob also summons minions. Oh, we got that surety rune. That thing is nuts. Yo, I threw my shield at you. You can't do that. That's illegal. This mob is just scuffed. I don't know what to say other than it's scuffed. You can hit that, but I'm trash. So, I may or may not have died to the cat multiple times. Not a big deal. Like, who's, who's, who's judging, all right? Sometimes your teacher is trash. I'm, I'm your teacher in this case. Oh, this cat is scuffed. What can I say? Alright. Time to actually try. He said, even though you've been trying this entire time. Smile. I need to hit that! It just freaks me out. I get scared! Like, most of this cat's attacks are very well telegraphed, but some of them just aren't. And they have very fast, very fast startups. Like that? Dude, we're, we're cool as a cucumber. Hit with the dodge. Having... I think the play in Earth Gauntlet, if you get trash boons and effects, is save your Arkham Fury for this thing. Otherwise, good luck. Sag. Go for the takedowns. How'd that hit me? I want to know. Pain. I still haven't hit that blue mark. If you hit that blue weak point on the cat thing, it interrupts that attack and you won't get freaking Anelli clapped. What are you doing? I, I heard no no sound. You just I hear roaring at nothing. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. What? Weak points? Where'd you go? This spear is not the sauce. It's like anti-sauce. It's like... I don't even know what it is. If you, it's like if you dip your chicken nuggets in water, it's not sauce. If you dodge to the right on Lottie's attack, you won't get hit because its head normally hits you to the left. I think we just attrition this thing. We go for the, uh, the interrupts on the blue attacks. Call it a day. That is scuffed! It, it turns red, like, before I get a chance to do anything. See, I finally hit that, bro. Not wash. That's my, that's my teacher, Hog. Why is this, why is it so tough? Why, why are, why are the animals in this game so strong? Like that first boss? Clapped. But this thing, that freaking spectral, uh, spectral cheetah thing that summons a mist you can't see anything in. They're strong, dude. They are tough. Where'd my loot at? Anyway, that is, that's the video, guys. Hopefully it helps in some way. It's mildly scuffed, I understand. But I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.